thank you for tuning in to another Yost Built video. Tonight, we are gonna put the motor and transmission back in the green car, and we are gonna get it to at least being a rolling chassis again. So, in the last video you've seen, I actually quit working on it when I found out that the twin disc throwout bearing that I bought didn't fit correctly. Let me show you what I bought. All right, so right here we have the original throwout bearing. We have the one that Amazon sent me as a twin disc throwout bearing. And then we have the competition twin disc throwout bearing that I ordered through Real Street Performance. I'm gonna give a good shout out to Geo for making sure I got this as fast as possible. So you see that this one looks nothing like this one or the stock one. Well, the tabs don't line up. This one will actually basically fit, fit inside of that one. And then if we flip these over, you'll see that they're all three different. So this one has this uh, center edge protruding. This one, at least the center edge doesn't protrude, but this little surface right here is not all the way out. So we can move the stock one. And then you see this one, the whole outside edge actually spins. And if you look over here on the twin disc, which we have over here on this motor, you see that this right here is where the, the throwout bearing should press. And you'll see that the first disc right here has a little wear on it. I'm pretty sure the last person that had this uh, twin disc didn't have the proper throwout bearing. So now that we have the proper throwout bearing, this shouldn't create an issue. Uh, I've, this has been installed on this motor for a while now. We have the T2, T4 transmission right here. Uh, it's literally a bone stock transmission. It supposedly, the last owner told me that the had the synchros replaced in it. Uh, I had this transmission in this car before and it worked perfect. We also got the replacement inserts from ESP. Right here's this one, right here's this one. And as you've seen in the last video, this, there was basically no way for this to actually fit on here and hold it from moving. Whereas this one we got from Real Street, this fits really tightly in here and there's no play at all. So the clutch should have great movement and feel. So now let's get, now let's get to actually putting the motor and transmission back together, putting the twin disc, you know, tightening everything up, getting it back in the car. Tonight, the goal is to get the axles in it, to get the motor and transmission in the car with the mounts, get the rear T-bracket on, at least get somewhat of a rolling chassis. Um, the turbo kit and everything, we still have to do a little bit of fab work on, so that won't be done in, in tonight's video. And for all of those wondering about Lavaca, she's right here. She still runs, she still starts up every time. Uh, literally, I've been kind of undecided on what I want to do with it, so since the Honda Build Challenge thing kind of died and went away, I do still want to get it tuned the way it is, just to see what it can make. But I'm pretty sure we're going to end up doing either a built high compression B20V or an H22 with a nice Euro R, Euro R or H23 motor. Uh, leave down in the comments below which one you would think would be more fun. Stock block, H23, uh, I do have some cams I would like to put in it if we do that. Or just a Euro R H to B and the Integi and see what we can do. The record I believe for a lightweight uh, cut up EG is like 1030 or 1080. Uh, don't quote me on that. But it'd be nice to see you know, an all motor DA Integra. Uh, there's very few that people that actually race them and all of them are turbo. So like I said, I don't want to go down that route. Uh, the nitrous 150 kit that we put on it should be good. The stock motor should be good for, you know, 300 horsepower with a nitrous kit. So that would be fun, but leave down in the comments below what you would actually like me to like to see me do with this car. Um, and, uh, let's get to a time lapse of me working on the Accord.
All right, guys, for those of you who haven't seen this done before, where you're putting the modem in through the bottom, literally all you do, like you just seen in that time lapse, is literally slide the motor under the car, jack the car up as high as you possibly can so the motor goes over under it easily, lower the car down on top of the motor, and then literally take the floor jack and just pick the motor up to your, mo or to your transmission mount fits, and then use the same technique on the driver's side, get the motor centered in the car, put the two 17 millimeter long bolts through, and then your motor will be in the car. And another helpful temp, or tip, another helpful tip is to always leave these bolts a little loose and here and here until you get every bolt in the two side motor mounts. So then a most, at least the motor has a little play. And then once you get them all lined up, then just start tightening them down and you now have your motor back in your car. All right guys, so I stopped on the time lapse and uh, just kind of started working on it. It got dark pretty fast, so I got the slave on, got the starter on, got the shifter cables on. If any of you guys have never seen, well that's the nitrous line, but if any of you guys have never seen the Accord tie wrap cables, literally you buy a whole bag of zip ties, you peel the plastic off of these cables, the factory ones, because they always separate and the shifter fills like complete garbage and you literally put a zip tie every inch until you cover the whole cables and it makes these cars feel a whole lot better when you're shifting got the rear t-bracket on got the rear motor mount in got all the motor mounts tight so this is what we have accomplished for tonight and even though it's uh only about 8 39 o'clock at night it is still like 85 90 degrees outside as you can tell i'm sweating a lot uh, the mosquitoes are getting really bad, so this is going to be the end of this video. Uh, in the next video, we're going to try to get the intake manifold on, uh, the turbo manifold on, get the axles in, get everything so that the car has everything so we need so we can start doing wiring because uh, that is the one thing that the car doesn't have a complete is the wiring yet. So we do have a computer, we do have a demon board for it. Um, I do have a custom fuel cell and pumps and everything, which I'll show you once I jack the car up and get to do the axles and everything but hope you guys enjoyed the content i know this car a lot of people have always asked about it they've always seen it in the garage sitting next to lavaca um so like i said earlier leave down in the comments below what you want to see me do with lavaca i really want to go h to b or not full h one of the two um i've had a ton of people tell me go k which that's cool but there's so many k swap cars out there now so it's not even that entertaining anymore um Pablo is actually doing a K-Swap car, so if you guys want to watch exactly how to do a full K-Swap, Pablo is doing it. Um, but we need to get the green car together. We need to get it running. And as always, the goal is 2,000 subscribers next. Hope you guys enjoy the content. And until the next one, have a great night.